Hey guys, this is Meadows from Awaken Realms. Today I will show you a tutorial we made for spiky bits on how to paint new Imperial Knight and I'll hope you'll like it. I'll start with Bissell Brown. Uh, I'll be painting non-metallic gold on the sides of the armor pads, on the shoulder pads, top of the meter and the uh, armor pads on the legs. Uh, I'll be using also similar technique to paint the back of the meter also with non-metallic gold. Um, this bcl brown color uh, is basically a mid-tone, uh, I'm leaving black for shadow so I'm not painting over uh, the whole part just where the mid-tones and highlights should be. I don't worry too much about painting over other parts because I'll be uh, repainting them with black after I'll be finished with non-metallic gold. Same thing with the armor parts on the legs, um, just painting uh, the parts that should be gold and trying to avoid the rest but again I'll paint them later so don't have to worry about it too much. This is how it looks after the first step and applying flash gets yellow to the gold parts. And this is the first shoulder part and now I'll show you how to do it on the other one. Uh, so it's flash gets yellow, again my airbrush and I'm doing highlights now. This is a very simple method, you just want to paint smaller and smaller areas with the next highlight. Uh, last highlight, uh, it's white. Again, painting over the smallest area. And again, same for legs.
I'll be now using black, I'll be painting uh, all armor paths and other parts that were painted with gold and that shouldn't be. Uh, I have to be precise at this stage, I don't want to paint over the gold parts that are almost finished at this stage. For those who missed the joke on last tutorial, I did prepare something, I want to tell you a pizza joke, but I think it was too cheesy. I'll be now using white scar to do non-metallic silver, something like a non-metallic silver uh, on the back of the armor. This is a high contrast technique, uh, I'm not painting over all parts, just a few points. Uh, I want to have very strong highlights and strong black shadows. With a grey mid-tones. I'll be using now counter blue to paint the armor. I don't want to paint over everything, I still want to have a black shadows unpainted. And this is how the top of miniature looks like, as well as sides and back. I'll be also uh, painting with counter blue, um, some kind of a mid tones for metallics and non-metallic metals on the back of the miniature. This is a quick step just to add a little bit of color to them. I'll be now doing highlights on armor with Lottern Blue. And again, I'm painting over a smaller area than before.
I'll be now painting OSL, I will start with Evil Sun Scarlet and I will quickly show you how to do it and which parts I have just to paint. Now I'll throw Slayer Orange as a highlight. Again, trying to paint over a smaller area than the red one. As you can see, I'm using the other hand for stability. This is a useful technique for painting uh, smaller details. Uh, more precise painting. I'll be doing edges with Flash Kids Yellow on all um, red parts. It's a very simple step, just a match highlight. And now white for highlighting uh, the armor pads. I'll be also doing edge highlighting with white on blue armor and no metallic gold. I'll be painting edges of armor parts as well as those little bolts in them. And as mentioned, I'm also highlighting golden parts with white as well.
and we will be uh, also doing battle damage with white. Uh, I'm using a piece of a sponge. I dry the paint on a piece of paper. And then I apply white to the armor. And now we use black and paint the holes. I actually prefer this technique much more than the painting um, battle damage with black and then highlighting with white because if you first uh, paint it with white and then apply black it allows you to have a much thinner white highlights. Thank you for watching, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial, as always all questions and comments more than welcome. For more tutorials please subscribe to our YouTube channel and for more painting miniatures you can check our Facebook page. We accept painting commissions from single miniatures to whole armies and for more information you can visit our webpage at awakenrealms.com. See you soon!